But I've heard you say that the show cast eerie parallels with real life, including its outcomes and ultimate winner. What were some of these parallels and do you look at society differently now that you've seen the show? Um, I think some of these parallels were, for example, so obviously, you know, all of the women that went up to the penthouse first were the first ones out. So sort of eventually by the end of the show, the original of the original women that went into the game, because they kept on bringing more and more people in the game because you needed people in there, um, of the original ones that started, so I obviously started it, um, there was only two women left. And um, like the rest of them, the, the women were like the first ones to go. Like society just doesn't like powerful women. Um, so that's kind of what I found. Um, the ones in the show that basically did nothing, said nothing and just coasted, ended up getting into the final. Um, because anyone that was outspoken enough to, to say what's right or say their two-piece was chopped off pretty quickly. Um, and obviously the winner was an aristocrat, funnily enough. So he comes from an aristocratic family. He comes from one of Britain's oldest aristocratic families. So it's kind of found it kind of funny that he won. Yeah, um, well, that's uh, it's interesting that an aristocrat run. But did any working class people get close? Um, yeah, I mean, we had sort of the final, but we kind of knew he was going to win. But I just found it weird that a lot of like the women and the outspoken women were like the first ones to go. And the ones that kind of coasted and just didn't upset anyone, and just didn't really contribute were the ones that ended up getting to the end. Because I feel like, you know, in society, if you're if you're really outspoken and you, you know, you do what's right, often there's consequences to it because, you know, you upset people that you probably shouldn't upset.